on today's video, we start working on some buzz boxes. Let's get there. Welcome back to Clooney Garage, it's Fred here, and my young mate Frankie is here as well. Frankie, what are you doing today? Well, we Ooh. like to be working on the ute and getting that off to a track day, but uh, now we've got to go to a small circuit, so Ooh. we might have to work on some smaller cars. Oh, Frankie, so you've bought Korean's Finest, so tell us what you're doing here today, and all this is the lead up to going to a Pheasant Wood Circuit, given that Wakefield's all closed, mate. So Yeah, unfortunately, we have to change venues, but mm -hmm. uh, I think it's um, slightly longer than Ludnam. Right. But uh, at one kilometre long, it's certainly shorter than, uh, than um, Wakefield. It certainly is. And from what I've seen on the footage on um, on YouTube and some other videos, probably well suited to a little front-wheel drive little car. And it's uh, very, lots of constant radius 90-degree hairpins. Frankie, your favourite. There's almost no straight on it, isn't there? No. That's OK. We've got no grunt. That's right. OK. Well, in the grunt department, Frankie, you're going to take us through what you're doing because I can see you've got hole cutters, sockets, and you're about to do some butchery, so let's get stuck into the action. So Frankie, eagle eye viewers would notice that you've already worked on the exhaust side of your uh, buzz box here, but um, a little birdie tells me you're gonna get stuck into the intake side of things. Yeah, well, it's got a tiny little um, air intake here, and we figure if we get a little bit of cold air going into that um, that department, that's gotta help, hasn't it? Oh yes, and particularly with your tuning, Frankie, with HP tuners. Oh. You, you can see we've done a bit of badge engineering here, oh, and uh, it, it's probably not going to do anything in the power department, but it makes me feel better. Oh, okay, righto. Excellent. So we've just had a bit of an investigation on the air intake on these things, and whilst that looks like it's a direct route to the air box, Frankie, that goes down and does a, about 20, 90 degree loops first. Yeah, yeah. And it's small and restrictive, so oh. we think... Show us a look. Big, big three inch cold oh. air ram in, intake. Oh. Might, might be worth that quarter horsepower maybe yeah maybe oh dude that might make some nice induction noises too frankie so. so noisier the better yeah well you're going to take this battery out and you're going to work out how to get from there maybe at the front of the car with the intake somewhere around here and then into this little contraption here tiniest little air box you've ever seen in your life oh god okay all right so we'll let frankie get started on his air intake and he has taken some ideation here out of this little idea here so we've gone and deleted our fog lamp that's some, a beautiful bit of work you've done there. Oh, I know, I, I look like at that. that. Yep, that's that's some of my best work then. And then that comes up, and Frankie, I've had to move my battery. I've had to go and do a big snake around here into the airbox and look in there, Frankie. Hello! What do you think of that? A huge bloody hole, isn't it? Oh, I think so. It's got to supply a little bit of uh, cold air induction. Well, hopefully. And then look at this uh, beautiful virgin looking air filter here, a high quality Ryko item, that one. But nothing better than for the Mirage. Mirage in the desert, they say. And then we'll put this air box back on, Frankie, and um, you've just done a bit of throttle body cleaning as well. Yeah, get your little finger in there and see how much uh, yes. dirt and carbon corruption's on there. Mm. That's all right, we'll blow that through the motor and uh, yep. be clean as a whistle. That's right, well, have a look at the size of the uh, throttle body, Frankie. It is um, a little bit like our LS7 110mm, that one, don't you reckon? Small SM all, they tell me. God, look at, look at the size of it. But the anyway. tiniest little motor you've ever seen in your life. The only thing smaller that I've seen recently is oh no no that's right. Okay, okay no you don't yeah. want to talk about that. All right, so Frankie, we've got our camber tops and our coilovers, and the last time we took this little buzz box out, it didn't have the sign writing on it. And um, tell us about the experience at London with this thing. Well, surprisingly, you had um, stock rear suspension and some coney fronts that yes. were lowered, and uh, it wasn't terrible because you could just. Uh, Pitch it sideways in every corner mm. and a bit of left foot braking and we actually didn't do such a bad time considering you know, 250,000 kilometre shocks. That's yeah. exactly right. For those eagle eye viewers, we'll put a clip on it right away and here are some highlights of that last day at London to get you motivated. Go Frankie! Thank mm -hmm. you. 
reverse engineering Korea's finest airbox methodology here, and what have you found? Well, oh. it, it goes in this little thing just behind the headlight, around here, yeah. and there's something down there. So I'll take it off and then into, into here. So I wonder if I can run my cold air down there and oh. get a little bit of fresh air in I reckon you need to get my little axle onto that section just there. I reckon she should just come undone. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. But I've just got to undo this little bugger. It's for small hands. And, right. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'll let you get going on that one, Frankie. Thanks, mate. Well, whilst Frankie's dropping tools and trying to pull out air boxes, I'm getting onto the oil situation here. So these dear old Mirages take a, uh, a Ryko Z411. I'll chuck him in. And Frankie, I don't think this um, car's ever had synthetic oil in its life. I would say. No, I think I think the previous owner used to run it on diesel and sewing machine oil. So we'll give this um, five weight thirty a go, and um, we'll get stuck into it. And that's a uh, that's previous oil, not the best, but that's after a day at Ludnam. So let's get stuck into it. Well, so Frankie, you got the you got the big drill out at the moment. What are you going to do? Yeah, well, I've no idea really, but um, oh. if you cut enough things out, it's, yeah. it's got to make a bit of room, hasn't it? Well, I think you're going to be adding a bit of lightness, Colin Chapman. Maybe. This is only plastic, but oh, um, cut a little hole here. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Frankie, so you've been uh, busy here, and you've attached yourself a little cold air intake. Yeah, we'll like delete. Try and neaten that up a little bit. Right. Have you got? Have you lost some bark on your hands there again? Oh, mate, I, no oh. good if there's no blood in the picture. It's the blood is it? and guts channel here at Tony uh, Garage. Yeah, she zips up here, stick it into oh. the old. No, old guy. Thank you. A few zip ties and, uh, Jesus, like women's Formula One. Yeah, absolutely. Engineering. It's not, it's not eh? Perkins engineering, it's Clooney engineering. Oh, exactly, yeah. yes. Jack would be proud. He would. So you haven't had to do any butchery there, which I thought we might have to. Hmm. And you've just reused Mum's vacuum cleaner outlet and you've put a bit of air ducting there straight to the cold air intake. Yeah, we'll see if that um, makes any sort of difference. Right. Hopefully but, uh, it sounds a bit better. Very lacking in room to go... Oh, putting big holes in things but that's right but, and i'm still oogling over your uh headers frankie from kurt oh they're a thing of beauty aren't they oh, god very nice very nice well so frankie you've managed to get that little air intake there and you've uh, done a nice little piece of work there mate very yeah, nice well, i don't think it can hurt no and uh if we can get a little bit of cold air in there maybe even better yeah right not as good as nitrous but uh no we can do that another day all right, so you're just getting the battery back in there, Frankie. You've done your oil change. How was your... Jeez, dark as night, isn't it? Jeez. Yeah, well, that was less than um, less than 5,000 Ks. and has been on the racetrack a couple of times. Yeah. Um, we'll do our brake fluid. Right. Check our power steering. And uh, that might be all we can do to these little yeah. buzz boxes. Absolutely. Well, we're looking forward to Pheasant's... Ne Pheasant's, Pheasant's wood, wood, not Pheasant's Nest. Yeah. yeah. don't even know what the name of it is, but... um. Yeah, well, we've been plagued by power steering problems. I don't think in this car, though. Definitely in the Mirage and the Ute we have, but you're going to use Mum's shower cap on that one, Frankie? I don't think I'll need to. No. No, and I don't think we'll have any more problems with our, our uterus either because uh, we've got our new reservoir. We do. Any plans on taking the Ute to Pheasant Wood? Well, Frank? let's have a look, eh, and uh, see if we're just wasting our time, but um, mm. why not? Yes, absolutely. We'll give it a go. Now that Wakefield's closed, we don't have much any choice, do we? No. No, no good. That would not be magic. Or Mandalorians, Frankie. I hear they protect the galaxy. Well, I'm not going anywhere near that, but uh, yes. <laughs> right, okay. Here we go. Yes, well, we've got two airbox systems now that we've created. We'll let you know how they go and how they sound. And uh, oil is done on this one. And yeah, I'll be fixing the power steering up as well. And Frankie, you're going to... Uh, your pads are holding up incredibly well, just quietly. Yeah, you've got those uh, cute little discs on there, so we'll just flush the... Um, Righto. The fluid it never has a good uh, pedal, these little guesses. I don't know why. The high powered but, rotors uh, on these things. Maybe it's the drums on the back, but we'll bleed the, the drums, yep. bleed the front brakes, and uh, see if that's any better. And Frankie, uh, a suspension mod that you're going to try is something to do with the sway bar. Take us through that. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, why do you have a sway bar? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Probably less is more, so let's take it off and chuck it away and oh. see how that goes. Oh, you're going to be three-wheeling through these corners, I think. Well, it's either going to work or it's not, isn't it? So, are you going to take the whole sway bar out or just disconnect our linkages? Well, we'll, we'll have a look and we'll decide later. Okay, right on. Let's get stuck into it. Keep going. So, Frankie, normally we use a bit of semi-slicks and um, you've got yourself some nice Honda Jazz 
daily driver wheels here, but what the hell are those things? Mate, if the Steelys were good enough for Alan Moffat and his GTHO at Bathurst, right. they're good enough for this thing. You're going to put them on and go to a track day? You bet we are. <laughs> <laughs> Show the viewers the manufacturer of some of these. Um, well, this is Goodyear, which is a, a really good um, American company. Right. And this is not. Oh, good ride. That's it. And, uh, well, even wheel runs. No. No. Good ride. Mackenzie! Race proven. What do you think of the tyres, Mackenzie? They're terrible. Oh, steelies. And um, are you going up in sort of width? 175s, there they go. Oh, yeah. Well, the little alloys have got 175s anyway, so okay. I don't think we're missing much. No. Well, are you going to do a couple of sighties and then put the slicks on? I, I, hopefully that's the, uh, that's right. the plan, but uh, Okay. Yeah. Gee, it's going to look the, look the go with these steelies, aren't they? Well, I reckon they could go 161 laps at a certain racetrack, and that'd be fine. I reckon we might win when Wakefield opens up. We might see if we can break that lap record. One day. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now, Frankie, um, you've been getting a bit of inspiration watching paint and panel shows, and show all the viewers what you've been doing to the VP. Well, I'm guessing we've got to make it white. Oh, it's I've never seen a, uh, a red. No. Um, mobile sponsored car. So unless you want to pretend to be. Scafey. Oh yeah. In yep. the Winfield car, we've, we've got a paint of white, so. That's it. You've been rubbing with mum's um, scotch bright, I think. Every night I've been coming out here, Frankie, and as you can see, as you get the gloss off, you can start to see more shopping trolley incidences. So, we've got one there, one there, one there, up here, and then, yeah, we're just mocking up our body kit and mucking around, but slowly getting there, Frankie, but, you know, these things all take time. Well, Frankie, they say you can't polish it. You're showing us you can. Well, mate, I think um, I might be able to pick up a couple of Ks if I wax it. So um, oh. that might be um, one little trick I've got up my sleeve. I reckon I've the, got some pretty good paint here. I reckon the peeling clear coat's going to hold you back, though. Oh, okay. I know, I know a bloke uh, who's quite good on the spray gun. Yeah, that's what I need. Right. But, uh, yeah, maybe I can, I can pick up a little bit with a bit of a, yeah. a turtle wax. Yeah, I'll have to wait and see. I think um, I love your steelies. I know. I can't I'm, wait for you to do a demo when you leave here today because um, someone told me that uh, little blue cars in garages do quite good burnouts. They, they, they do smoke the bags apparently, but um, I'm far too responsible, of course. Oh, okay, right, yes. And we went for a little test drive in this and it went okay, Frankie. It went good. You yeah. can't hear any induction noise, but it, the intake didn't blow out or anything like that. So. Yeah, and no error lights, so that's always a good thing. Happy yeah. days. Yeah, and this thing's obviously got stickers, so that's going to yes. benefit you. But, yep. Uh, I've got headers and exhaust. I've got no front sway bar, <laughs> steelies. Oh, mate, I, I think I could uh, maybe knock you off. Oh, I have to wait and see. Yeah, well, everyone stay tuned. We're heading to Pheasantwood next, next Saturday, and we'll put the video up on Sunday. So on that note, don't do it for Dale, do it for Yoda, do it for Mando's. Catch you later.